Catherine Simalai is on Sign Language Interpretation tonight. We thank you for joining us on the program. Let's begin, shall we? ex marsabit governor and ex-treasury C.S. Ukuriatani's troubles appear to get deeper after the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, ESCC, obtained orders from the High Court to freeze 62,100,000 Kenya shillings that were seized from his nephew, believed to be part of proceeds from illegal activity, as Natasha Wairimo now reports. The Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, ESCC, has obtained orders from the High Court preserving 460,000 U.S. dollars, which is equivalent to 62.1 million Kenya shillings, seized by the Commission in the ongoing investigation targeting former Cabinet Secretary and Marsabit Governor Ukuri Atani. The amount, which is in 4,600 pieces of 100 U.S. dollar denominations, was seized from his nephew, Ibrahim Dokoyatani. The freezing orders, which were issued by Justice Esther Minor on Friday, that May 2024, will be enforced for a period of six months. In its court papers, ESEC told the High Court that possession of the amount was in circumstances raising reasonable suspicion that the money may constitute proceeds of corruption or unexplained wealth or that the respondent is engaged in money laundering, hence the need to investigate the source. The court heard that during the period of interest, Ibrahim Dokoyatani, through his company called Al Habib Enterprises, irregularly received 71,790,897 Kenya shillings from the county government of Marsabit. Through its advocate Jackie Kibogi, ESCC further told Justice Minor that it is apprehensive that unless the court issues an order authorizing the continued custody of the cash, Ibrai Dokoyatani may demand unconditional release and proceed to dispose of or transfer the cash, thereby frustrating any intended for future proceedings to the detriment of the public. Ukuri Atani, together with the sitting Marsabit Governor Muhammad Ali, top county officials and close family members are under investigations for theft of public funds, abuse of office, procurement irregularities, conflict of interest and unexplained wealth. Reporting for TV47, I am Natasha.